listening to KPFT local news at 4 p.m. The time is now 419. Thank you for joining us. Well, with party season in high gear and peace and goodwill often flowing in the form of alcohol, date rape and young women's safety procedures may not be the first thing on your mind. Dallas Jessup, a 21-year-old Vanderbilt student, recently directed and produced a film entitled Just Yell Fire Campus Life as a way to change all of that. Already, the film has become a basis as a four-credit course at MIT, and an additional 200-plus colleges are adding it as part of freshman orientation in 2013. Joining us now via phone to talk about the film and her organization is Dallas Jessup. Dallas, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So first, Dallas, tell us about the 1.8 million girl revolution organization that you founded called Just Yell Fire. Tell us what it's all about. Just Yell Fire is all about teaching girls self-defense so that they can live the life they want. Um, we do this through our two online films for, from um, the age of 11 to 24, um, two different films with two different target markets. And it really started as my year in high school, I saw the video footage of a young girl in Florida, and a man came up to her and said something, and she went away with him willingly. And I watched that going, that didn't have to happen to her. She didn't have to die. Um, I have a black belt in Taekwondo, and I'm a second degree in Filipino street fighting, and so I knew, sure, no, she couldn't have beat him to a pulp, and, you know, odds like that are very hard, but she could have gotten those two to three seconds to get herself out of that situation. And so I thought, okay. I looked at the online statistics and found out that one in four girls will be date raped before they graduate from college, and also one in three will be the victim of dating violence. I just found that absolutely outrageous and unacceptable. And so I thought, okay, I went to an all-girls high school. I'll make a small homemade video to show the girls at my high school how to stay safe. And my mother had encouraged me to take a script writing class for local community college, saying, you know, do this, maybe you'll find something you like or, you know, basically wanted to get me involved as a freshman saying like go try new things and ended up doing that the professor loved what i was doing said i have friends in the industry they would really love to help out a cause like this can i show it to them and i was a freshman in high school going sure (laughs) okay (laughs) yes um and so ended up from there got a professional crew of 30 100 extras and when we talked to the director um working through the script ended up you know, thinking, okay, we might need some celebrity to help us raise awareness about this. And so we ended up reaching out to the um, set of Lost and got Evangeline Lilly and Josh Hawley from Lost to do cameos. And it just kind of grew from there. We put it online in October of 2006, and that was the beginning of the Just Jill Fire revolution. And then this past year, we came out with our newest film, Just Jill Fire Campus Life. Well, we want to talk about the film in just a minute, but... First, I'd like to address this. What is your nonprofit organization doing this particular holiday season to help young women avoid being victims? We really are outreaching and trying to make sure that this is in more schools and online and really making a heavy online media presence and engaging with people online and in articles and making sure that they know that this stuff is out there. I mean, we specifically have um, on our website date rape coasters, which can test to see, um, test for the three major date rape drugs to see if your drink has been drugged. So we're trying to, we've been having dealing with a lot of shelters and schools and sending these out to make sure that girls can have these on hand if they want to, um, to make sure that they don't become a victim of a date rape drug. And now let's talk a little bit more. I, I, I think that's just a fascinating idea. I mean, you have a coaster. Everyone is having a drink. You at least have that safety of mind by wh- what happens. You just put your drink down and it tests for the, the three main chemicals? or um, What happens is it's a, it's a, it looks like a coaster. You're not actually supposed to put, use it as a coaster, but yeah. it's a coaster shape. And uh, so it has two test strips per coaster, and you dip your finger in your drink, and then just put some of the liquid on one of the testers and wait for it to dry. It typically takes about two minutes. And if it, it tests positive for either Rufi, GHB, or um, ketamine, it will turn a slightly color of blue. Mm-hmm. Um, and that tells you your drink has been drugged. Because oftentimes, um, dairy drugs are very hard to detect. They you know, dissolve e- easily in liquid. Not all of them fizz when they get dropped into the drinks and so these are things that can easily go undetected if you simply 
you can even have it in your hand and just look away to a talk to a friend and someone can walk by and slip it in there. Sure. Um, and these are things, you know, it doesn't take too long for the drug to take effect. Um, I think roofies take about 20 to 30 minutes and then um, GHB takes as little as five minutes to take effect. Um, and so these are things that happen extremely quickly. And it's sad because a lot of times, um, clearly, date rape drugs, there are people out there who intentionally use them to rape you. But there's also this huge phenomenon going on in the country where bartenders find it funny to drug girls' drinks because they're bored or if a girl didn't tip them well enough, they'll start to drug her drink to say, oh, I'll get back at her. Let's see, watch her make a fool of herself. Mm-hmm. And so it's it comes from a lot of different areas, and it's very, very scary. Um, and so you really have to be prepared for that and really keep your wits about you. But this coaster is great because it's so small. You can I always have one on me. I can fold it up into tiny little bits and put it in my wallet, and it's there available to me at any time if I feel uncomfortable. And, of course, um, you can find out more about that at justjailfire.org. Um, but while I have you on the phone, tell me, what other issues does your new film, Just Yell Fire Campus Life, actually address? So we, Just Yell Fire Campus Life, had a completely new, different issue than the original film. The original film was a lot about date rape and abductions and strangers, and this one, really there's a new issue that girls face on college campuses, and it's the fact that they, for the first time in their lives, are getting this huge amount of freedom. Um even if you go to college in your hometown, you're being introduced to, you know, thousands of new people. There's these new environments going on, and girls feel safe. And granted, you know, you hope that your college has, you know, safety measures in place, but at the same time, anyone can walk onto campus. Anyone can, you know, happen to have someone swipe them up to your floor. And so there's this lessened sense of security, or excuse me, lessened sense of fear that girls have about being aware of their environment. Mm. They're very trusting when they go off to college because typically, you know, you not that you were sheltered growing up, but you never enc- encountered the things that you do that you do in college. You don't encounter typically the type of fraternity parties that you will in college where of there's course. punches and, you know, upstairs rooms that can be locked or <laughs> and different um, hall cruising, which is where someone will go to different floors in a building and just try every door until one unlocks. Well, Dallas, and they'll I, go in and rape someone. I, I want to thank you for your time today. We have to move on right now. Um, give us the URL for your website, please. For more information, it's justgelfire.org. Dallas Jessup, thank you.